As parents across the state struggle in the search for suitable child care options, lawmakers in Austin are expected to find a way to help. With an excess of $33 billion going into the legislative session, some advocates say a focus on the well-being of the youngest Texans will have a strong impact on multiple parts of the state. KCBD News Channel 11's Joshua Ramirez looks at what can be done now to improve child care in the future. It's been a challenge for working families' pocketbooks. It's been a challenge for children being school ready. That's why David Fagan with Texans Care for Children says it's time for state leaders to find a solution to an issue that millions of parents throughout the state are dealing with, a lack of available and affordable child care. He hopes the legislature's $33 billion surplus will be the answer. If we could invest that in um, compensation bonuses for um, uh, child care educators to keep them in the field and recruit more, if we can uh, invest in the reimbursement rates that the state pays. Fagan says another area of interest is continuing investment in COVID era grants that help pay for fixed costs like property taxes and increased wages as child care workers make on average $10 an hour. Um, so they can make more money at the fast food restaurant across the street than they can make you know, taking care of our kids. If we can make those big investments, um, we're gonna be able to stabilize our uh, child care infrastructure. The current lack of funding leaving high quality facilities with empty classrooms. And that's not because of a lack of demand. These directors tell us about parents calling them in tears saying we can't find a place for our kids. Are you sure you can't squeeze them in? And they don't have the teachers. As the shortage grows, it's creating geographical anomalies where in many cases, child care simply isn't available. Um, you know, we have child care deserts across the state where there are not um, sufficient uh, care options available for the amount of families there. And the main reason for that is the lack of educators. That shortage snowballing into other parts of the state's economy. So until we invest in ensuring that child care is available, we're going to continue to see staff vacancies across the board across other sectors. Since the beginning of the COVID pandemic, Fagan says nearly 10% of child care options have been lost. And if the financing issue isn't addressed during this session, that number will continue to grow. Joshua Ramirez, KCBD News Channel 11.